What's up, King T? Hey, chillin'. What's up with you, Lonzo? Ready? I want to take it back to the history of how this shit started, how Compton got on the map, and why Compton became uh -oh. the city that it became when it came to hip hop. And you was one of the main players, bro, that was laying the foundation oh, of this shit. And uh, you were the yeah. first OG uh, solo gangster out of Compton, weren't you? No, hell no. Who was? <laughs> who, who was? Todd. Ty, okay, okay. I ain't never yeah. seen Ty carry no shotgun on his album cover, though, damn it. <laughs> you the one first one pulling that oh, shit. Toddy was the first one, man. He 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 said it. He said it off, you know what I'm saying, with the Batteram and Just Say No and Mix Master Spay, rest in peace, you know, them that's what made me want to, you know, be down from Compton. That was it. Right, right. Now tell me how you got started, man. Let's go back to the beginning, man. Well, uh, shoot, that's that's it's a hell of a story. I mean, that's all I ever knew was music since I could remember. You know, I always wanted to. Uh, I guess my thing was that I'm just now figuring out in my old age. I always just wanted to play music for people. You know, I always okay. wanted people to hear what what I liked as far okay. as music, and it goes back to R and B. I liked what my dad liked. I guess you know what I'm saying because he always had music through the house. If it was jazz, R and B, uh, little alternative rock or whatever, I, you know, I I wanted to display that to my friends. What my dad was into. So that's what it turned into, me sticking a speaker okay. in the window and I lived in the projects, you know what I'm saying? P me putting a speaker in the window and just blasting music, you know what I'm saying? Just wanting, wanting to play music for people, that's all. Okay. So you DJ first? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's me all too. I wanted to do is-, is You and me both, Doc. Yeah. yeah, me a DJ wanted, to, and it was more like be on the air, an air personality, a DJ like that. Then you know this hip hop thing came. You know what I'm saying? I was very much into mixing and blending, and then when the hip hop came with the scratching and cutting, oh man, I it was just perfect for me. You know? Okay. It was so, are you a mobile DJ, club DJ? What you doing? What you, what oh, it wasn't doing? none of that when I back in my day. Uh, when I first really got into it, my mom whisked me away from LA and moved to Houston, Texas. I think okay. I was about 13, 14 years old. We moved in the third ward, Houston, Texas. But what was going on here in LA was the, uh, you know, it was just exploding with you guys, Wrecking right. Crew, uh, Uncle Jam's Army, the, the DJ, you know, the little shows and stuff, uh, and K-Day, KGFJ, and all that. Right, but I right. had to go to Houston, so yeah, I, took, yeah. I took these tapes that Bobcat was on the air, Joe, I think Joe Cooley, uh, Tony G, the Mix Master, and I, I went up to this college station in Houston, uh, KTSU, Texas Southern University, and yeah. I told them, this is me mixing. <laughs> They didn't believe, I think I was about 15, 14 years old. They didn't believe me until they put me on the turntables and I really could do that shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I watched y'all, right, I watched right. Roger Clayton, I watched you and all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hated when DJs got on y'all set and did, <laughs> did all that shit. But y'all y'all knew what it was. But uh, yeah, and a lady out there named, by the name of Pamela Collins at, at Texas Southern University, she gave me my first chance on air out there uh, on the radio, on the little college station KTSU with this program they had called Kids Jam. Okay. And I was 14 years old, Saturday morning, mixing my, cutting my ass off like I was a mix master out there at Texas okay. Southern University. Wow, that's dope, Doc, that's dope. Now how'd you grab the microphone and change your, change your direction? Well, I got in a little trouble out there with my mom. I didn't want to go to school. This is, you know, music was, you know, DJing is all I wanted to do. But, you know, back then, she wasn't going for that shit. Right, you know? right, right. You right. Gotta go to school or get a job, all that. And I had people coming from the college. I had my best friends out there who I started DJing with, Lester Pace and Jazzy Red out there in Houston, Texas. 
they even would come to her and tell her, well, he's a talented guy. He's like a phenom. They, they wanted to keep me out after 2 a.m. at a roller rink. You know, she wasn't going for it. So I wasn't going to school. I was sort of on a runaway type thing and ended up getting in trouble. Had to go to Harris County Youth Village out there. Hmm. I was in there for about a year. She came back home, you know, left me out there. So I kept running away from the youth village. Oh, shit. You know, so, and they knew exactly where I was at. You know, I would run away. Like, they'd take me to a dentist appointment, and I'll run away. They'll take me <laughs> to a dentist appointment at the college where I was a DJ. I would run away and be on the radio that weekend. they come come hmm. and take me back to jail. Ultimately, I was left out there. They sent me back out here to California to live with my, my grandmother, that in Pacoima, and uh, that's where it all started. I uh, bumped into Scotty D one day, ditching school again, hmm. walking around uh, Pacoima, and and just ran into Scotty D. Had a feeler shop out there. He was right. it was actually closed, but okay. I was looking through the window. You know, so I don't know what I was thinking, but I saw the turntables back there, and I sat there till somebody got there, and it was Scotty, and met him. Lied to him. <laughs> I to him said I was a part of Uncle Jam's army. <laughs> wow. And he was already fucking with Roger when I was you know what I'm saying? So, you know, everybody laughed back then, but they, they saw I really had the talent and they took me on, man, put me down. And, and that's why I've been claiming comedy to this day. I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge now, doing enough. And it would be down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, here, give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a wet straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, and but she starts getting told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Gonna be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline and I'll be biding my time till I can ride the wave. Then everything gonna be okay. Yeah. What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving the night. Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage. Cause what could we do? While Rome is collapsing, but not in a day, we'll be okay. The tip of your mouth, you're Jackson. I'll pull up the map then, cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses. Don't care what they're posting, you know, you only see what they show you.